is my, we'll call it former engine bay of my 1994 BMW E36 318i. It came factory with an M42 engine, but obviously it's not there anymore because we're gonna be replacing it with an S52 from a 1998 BMW M3 E36, of course. But as you can see, there's a few things left we have to do, if not a lot of things. So in the previous video, we removed the trans and the engine. There's a pretty full documentation on that, which I'll leave linked below, as well as any other videos we've done on this project so far. What's left to do? So fuse box, brake booster, ABS, some more tubing, some more wiring, a few more clips here and there. We're gonna be removing all that in this video and then giving it an extremely thorough steam cleaning because as you can see, Canadian car, oil sprayed, I'ma say at least 10 times in its life. It's gross, it's messy, but it's kind of necessary to keep the rust off these Canadian cars, so they're not too mad at it. But before the new engine goes in, we're gonna be painting the bay. So if I've learned anything, we need to prep this as much as possible for the auto body shop. Their job's auto body, it's not cleaning. So as much as you can do before you bring something there, really does allow you to get the best result possible from the work they do. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today in this video. Before we get into this, I just wanted to thank every single one of you guys for clicking on, checking out, purchasing something from the last release on chromaticgarage.com. Some sizes are starting to sell out, but there's still stuff available for you guys on there. I appreciate every single one of you guys, I really do. There's gonna be an accessory release coming up in the next probably three weeks to a month, but I'll be sure to let you guys know when that's coming. Until then, let's get into this video.
in terms of removal of how I want it. That fire retardant layer that goes on the firewall, it goes way into the transmission tunnel, so I just cut it off. I'll fully take it off later and replace it, but for now I think that's fine because it looks like the paint for the body underneath it is pretty clean, which would make sense because it's covering everything. So as it sits right now, the bay is ready to be cleaned and then prepped for paint. The wires are tucked into the firewall, ABS lines are gone. It probably looks right now like I'm about to shave the bay and kind of do like a drift setup or a lighter weight setup, but that is not the case. I am gonna put everything back in an OEM plus fashion way. I'm just getting rid of everything so that we can really properly paint this and get it looking as perfect as possible. So I guess at this point it is borderline nut and bolt restoration because everything will be replaced, which is kind of cool. As for now, I'm gonna take the vacuum, remove a bunch of this. There's like light debris everywhere. I thought the bay was clean at one point, but Absolutely not, no chance, it's disgusting. So vacuum, brake buster, steam it, and then wipe it up with a bunch of old microfiber cloths and we should be good to start doing some body work in here.
Oh, oh, oh.